Hello everyone and welcome back for another War Thunder tank battle. Now in just a moment, watch over the right side of the screen and you'll see why I called this battle the Orange Crush. Between the two of us, we do alright in this one. So, this is a battle that I actually played earlier today on 20 June 2017. And I'm just post-narrating it about, oh, I don't know, a couple hours later. Um, so we've got uh, Domination in the Ardennes here. I've got my spaded M551 Sheridan to start out with so I could get to the capture point as quickly as possible, take it and hold it for as long as I can, and give the team a ticket advantage. So there's the starting plan there. Get to the point with the fast light tank, which is pretty well armed, if not armored, and uh, hold it as long as I can. It ends up working pretty well, as you'll see. made it to the point with relatively little trouble except for just bumping into that building there. And I like when I get to a capture that's potentially going to be contested. If I've got the smoke grenade dischargers, I'll punch them off and use that smoke as cover. Now it does make for a somewhat nerve-wracking capture because you can't see anything coming up to you either. And they know something's in the cap and they will machine gun into the cap or just drive up to you, but... You can also see and be seen from your headlights and optics, but in this case it worked and I was able to get the capture. So, move to a slightly better defensive position here to hold the cap against where I expect the enemies to come through. See somebody already shooting and get a good shot on him. Detonate his ammo and then back off to reload. There's the first kill of the battle for me. So, I'm going to sit in the point as long as I can hold it and just reload all my ammo and my smoke here. So, skip ahead about a minute and a half, if, or about a minute, to about 3 minutes and 34 seconds if you don't want to see this bit here where I'm just going to fire smoke canisters off. However, here's a little trick that I like to do when I'm holding a cap. If you sit in the capture and you have the grenade, the smoke grenade dischargers like this tank does, you can reload one at a time and just fire them off as you go, and you can kind of aim where you want them to be. So once you learn where the smoke dischargers fire, in this case on the M551, it's the front left, and it fires roughly straight ahead. So while my smoke grenades keep reloading one at a time, I'm punching them off in all the gaps between the buildings here to kind of expand the width and the depth of the uh, cover that I've got. Well, the concealment at least. It's not... Some of it's cover, some of it's concealment. At any rate, you can see how it works. And about the time you sweep across the front 180 degrees of your tank, at least in this case, you're able to reload another smoke grenade and fire it off in the same spot again and just keep holding and keep holding and keep holding. And if nothing else, it at least tricks them into uh, having to come right up close and that gives you a better chance of being able to destroy them with uh, instead of being shot at from far away. Now you'll hear an engine off to the, the off to the right here, the direction I'm looking. So I know somebody's over there. You can hear him now. So I'm holding off on the smoke, and just as I sweep over, there's the ZSU-57. Able to hit him with the hull break, and there's kill number two. And he had to get in close because he couldn't see me from the other gap that he was there, so... It worked out. It doesn't always work out with the smoke, but in this case it did, and kept me alive long enough to get that ZSU-57 knocked out. So you can see somebody getting marked by Orange Doom over there, and I'm trying to get over there and uh, help him out, and he gets taken out. And I meant to mention this at the beginning, my name does not mean Orange Doom fan. Just try in case anybody is new to the channel or somehow hasn't heard me explain this before. My name is in relation to the Syracuse University Orange. They used to be the Orange Men and the Orange Women for their sports teams, now they're just gender neutral and it's the Syracuse Orange, and that's what my name comes from. They're my local university, I'm a fan of their sports teams, 
And I took that tank out there for kill number three with the M551. And again, just it's just coincidence, but everyone in War Thunder can't get their heads around that it could, couldn't possibly be anything else. So I find myself having to make that distinction a lot. Although, astonishingly, in this battle, I didn't have to, which you'd think of all the times I would have to explain that my name isn't related. You'd think it would be in a battle where we're both in the same battle, but not this time. So you notice in the chat here, I'm being warned, I did not catch that in the actual battle, that there were spots going on behind me. I was too busy waiting and staring at the countdown on the reload for my smoke canisters to keep reloading them. Our team had a really good line across the middle of the battlefield, and then slowly they got whittled down and killed out, and then there weren't any of them left, and a T-62 was able to get around behind us. He just killed the Whirlwind who was spotting him right there. I never did hear the Whirlwind shoot at all, but he got taken out after spotting the T-62. And I'm just continuing to put the smoke grenades out in front to keep the enemy team from being able to get a clean capture on A. So he's been highlighted on the map again, which I still didn't catch, because I'm still focused on getting the smoke out. In this case, I was definitely not paying attention. I did see the chat message right here that says, watch out T-62. I think on your seven and I'm looking around for him and I don't see him because he hasn't being marked isn't being marked anymore the uh, panther that he destroyed actually knocked out his transmission so he wasn't moving and I couldn't hear his engine or anything I searched around and swept around looking for him I know he's around somewhere I can't tell where he is because I never did see him on the map so I punch off all my smoke and then I'm gonna back off and try to get into that smoke and if I had just backed straight into the smoke instead of taking the time to spin my tank around I probably would have actually made it but the tank just took just a little too long to get hooked around and for me to swing it into neutral steering and then drive forward. And I was attempting to get into the smoke and then fire off my artillery, but as soon as I come to a stop, yeah. He had come around, the, fixed his transmission, came around the corner. I just didn't know where he was. It's my fault I wasn't watching the chat or the map, but and I asked them to please mark next time because all I saw was them talking about it by the time I noticed it. They did. It's my fault. They did actually mark the map. At any rate, I almost spawned back in in my T95E1, and then I elected to bring the M60A1, and that made all the difference in this battle, as you will see. So not too bad of a start with the M551, a capture and three kills. But the M60 is where things get real fun. Good work by the Geppard up there in front of me. I got a mark on the enemy with the artillery that I fired, and I've got a Yag Tiger and this Geppard in front of me, so I'm not going back into the town alone, at least. Although it is just the three of us, but we've got a pretty good mix of vehicles. A heavy tank destroyer, a um, all-purpose, well-armed medium battle or uh, main battle tank, and an anti-aircraft that's got pretty good capability against tanks as well. However, he just took a hit, and then they do a great job marking this T-62 up here in front. I get a great shot into him, knock out his breach, and his horizontal turret drive, which, as I'm then heading down the hill, gives me a great opportunity to swing in past him. I switched over to Hesh because we're fighting Soviets, and it uh, doesn't quite get through the side of his turret. However, I know he's not probably repairing his breach that quickly, and the Egg Tiger takes him out, so there's an assist for the M60, and I was totally fine with that. Because we know there's still another T62 around, because that's not the one that killed me. A moment of uh, slight terror while those bombs are falling, but nobody got killed by them, thankfully. Everyone was able to get away. And then right as I get up here and spot the other T62, we fire at the same time, I get no effect with my shot, and he's able to take out my breach. Thankfully he didn't kill any of my crew, just got the breach. So that was somewhat lucky. Also lucky that I had the Yag Tiger coming up on my left, who was, was able to cover me more or less while I repair. Now I know where he is, so I mark him, and I'm not sure that the T-62, or the Yag Tiger rather, saw him, because he was just coming up around the corner, so I'm gonna mark as much as I can with my machine guns to let the Yag Tiger know to watch out. 
A little bit of artillery for both marking and for cover never hurts. And then I was about to charge forward after the T-62 and then I noticed I'm capturing the A-point, so back off, hold the A-point capture, fire some machine guns to throw up dirt and smokes and protect us, and might as well capture the A-point again while I'm sitting here. It seems kind of silly to not do so. Get the capture on the A-point, hope that the Ag Tiger's gonna sit tight and cover and I'm gonna charge forward and take out that T-62. Now they start taking the A-point, but I would rather go get the T-62 and unfortunately, IT-1 lights up our Ag Tiger, but there's also a ZSU-57 going by in the background. You get a hull break right through him. And then thankfully, I've got a really good experienced crew who's able to reload fast enough to wipe out the T-62. And there's a couple of quick ones. Two kills so far with the M60A1. Five total for the battle with a couple of captures and an assist. Not too bad at all. I almost let this guy capture so that I could move in and he wouldn't know I was coming, but then I decided to stop him from capturing and I was lucky enough to uh, not lose any of my trip mobility or breach or anything. And then I was able to knock out both his gunner and his horizontal turret drive with my second shot and was able to get my gun reloaded into position while he was trying to move with his chassis to get the, his missile on me and take out his crew for my sixth kill of the battle and conveniently right back inside the capture point to capture it a third time. And yeah, I was a little bit lucky there on uh, not losing any part of my either my engine or my gunner or my crew or my breach or anything to an IT-1 because that almost certainly would have been fatal. He would have had the missile reloaded before I would have ever been able to repair. So we capture the point a third time. And then I'm going to press forward a little bit and see what I can spot for. Put some artillery up again where I know the enemy is likely to come down from down that road. And then push forward a bit to expand our perimeter a little bit. And it was a good thing I did, because you can hear someone just off to the right, and there he is. He's not quite looking at me, and I get a nice ammo rack shot on him for kill number 7 on a T-44-100. It's the same guy who killed me in the T-62 originally in my M-551. And I'm back up into the point to hold it, and that pretty much seals the deal. They really can't take the point away from us until they kill me now. And that's it. That wraps up the battle. First place... Seven kills, three captures, one assist, and only one death. I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm pretty happy with the research score, too. It's nice when you've got two high-tier tanks in the same tier you're researching. They both have talismans, and you've got a premium account. I didn't have any boosters turned on, but 13,358 research? That's a tidy little sum. As you can see, just the talisman and the premium account for all that research there. There's the first place. Not too bad. Orange Doom did our I2. I'd call that alright. Four kills isn't too bad in a victory. There's all the kill rundown, and there's all the mission awards, and that'll do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I look forward to seeing you guys in another, Vic, uh, another, another War Thunder video. And we'll see you guys next time. There should be another one up tomorrow. Take care, everybody. See you next time.